Your speech uh, to UNHCR's executive committee meeting in Geneva this year paints a starkly worrying picture of asylum globally. Has the world become a more dangerous place for refugees in 2017? We are worried about what we saw this year. We saw a number of instances of egregious violations of international refugee law. We have seen forced returns, pushbacks, we have seen deter de deterrence measures that, quite frankly, were sometimes celebrated by government officials, which shocked us. We have seen explanations that do not hold up. And we have seen even killings of refugees. So yes, we are very worried about the state of asylum today. And we need to make sure that we go back to what the essence of international protection is. It's about a deep sense of humanity. It's about a sense of rule of law for people who are the most vulnerable, who are the most in need, and who require our sympathy, care, and protection. Did Europe allow in too many refugees and migrants in 2015? Are publics there and in other parts of the world turning against refugees as a result? What we, when we look at election campaigns these days in Europe, we often see a very emotionalized debate and often very polarized debate. We sometimes see how refugees are used and instrumentalized for political gains. And that's dangerous because it plays with fire. It actually tells us sometimes when you start dehumanizing the other, in this case refugees or migrants, that it actually can end up in the brutalization of a society. And I was shocked when Last year, I had a chance to meet a woman, who, a refugee woman, who was gang raped outside a reception arrangement. And she was telling us that she had to be hospitalized for a couple of months. She was then put into detention. She was separated from her mother and her brother. She was not allowed to stay in the country and she was in fact asked to leave. I found that deeply disturbing because when we raised it with the government, we were told that the reason why this has to happen is because we want to send a clear message of deterrence. I mean, did, if I asked myself, what else can you do in order to um, uh, instill a sense of humanity into what seems to be the absolutely right thing to do, to actually give this person and her family asylum in that country, to use deterrence as the argument against what normally would be an, a human reaction to a plight of an individual was lost. UNHCR has spoken repeatedly about the need to get terminology right when it comes to refugees, asylum seekers, migrants and so on. Are you losing this battle? Refugees are people who are properly defined in international law. That's the starting point. I think it is extremely important that if someone flees violence, conflict, human rights abuses, that we call this person what this person is. Full stop. There's no, nothing else to say about this. If someone calls a human being that is fleeing for their life something else, it may take away the protection or it may create the image that this person is not a refugee, for example. And that's very dangerous because it actually dilutes what normally should be an entitlement, a legal entitlement, to protection. And we need to make sure that that legal entitlement is safeguarded in today's world because that's why this regime was created precisely in the historical context of, of the wake of the Second World War. What about the situation in Bangladesh? There's been confusion there about terminology when it comes to refugees too. Obviously Bangladesh faces a very serious issue with the arrival of people because they also go into parts of a country uh, where they are particularly challenged with development and limited resources. So Bangladesh needs our solidarity and both the people and the government of Bangladesh. When you look at who has crossed, it's the Rohingya from, from Myanmar, it's a textbook case of refugees and they fled violence, they fled uh, severe discrimination and they flee a situation of statelessness that has deprived them for decades of belonging to a state. So these flee a combination of factors that are very serious. 
and whatever we need to do in order to respond to that is, is extremely important and part of it is also to be clear about who they are. They are refugees. <laughs>